Welcome back to All Things ETH. My name is Aaron and on this channel we talk about all things Ethereum. We talk about projects, NFTs, play to earn, and price. And today guys I want to show you the, uh, the, the time has come for me to show you what I've bred in the, the God Axie breeding that I've been doing over the last five days. Um, I did two breeds from the two parents and let's it's time to reveal what we got. So I haven't even pushed the button yet, guys. So this is, you're gonna see my reaction to what we got just like, uh, just just as if you were here watching with me. So here we go. Let's jump into my screen here. I've got my account pulled up where the eggs are. Um, these were ready to go as of uh, 2.31 and right now at my local time is 2.40. So uh, they just became available. I started these last week and uh, the parents here guys are these two axes here um, bought these two these uh, this one had um, full scaly full India st Indian star but only had one tiny dino and uh, two Kotaro in the uh, the tail and the mouth now I did look at these I don't mind if I get a serious honestly don't mind if I get a hair or a nutcracker on this guy it wouldn't be the worst for uh, this build I do want scaly spoon and Indian star the other parent had full uh, Scaly Spoon, two Indian Star, one Buzz Buzz. Um, has Kotaro, Sirius, and Kotaro again, so we may get Sirius, but that wouldn't be the worst thing. Um, because I do think Sirius in this build would be fantastic. Um, we have one Tiny Dino on the front, and we have Fish Snack and Rice. Now, I really don't want uh, Rice in particular. Now, Rice wouldn't be the worst thing. I would be able to steal energy, and that wouldn't be, be awful. However, uh, fish snack wouldn't be the greatest because it would only be very good against uh, aquas and birds. So let's see what happens. Um, I, I am hoping to sell these, these Axie children. So if I get the full-on Kotaro Scaly, uh, Indian Star, and Tiny Dino, and possibly even with a 39 speed instead of the 40 speed, that was, would be my ideal. I did hope to get in the eyes and uh, and and ears possibly a plant. Now this one has a bird uh, bird in the R2 on the on the on, I think that's the eyes. I uh, can't remember uh, curved spine or uh, tiny fan and peacemaker there. Um, those could be ears. I don't, I'm not really sure. Um, and we have nerdy in the uh, so that's nerdy's the eyes obviously. So in the ears we have the potential of getting uh, an aqua or a or a bird which would actually speed this thing up. And uh, no, uh, nothing but the, uh, the as far as, um, it's all reptile here in this, in this parent, so, um, except for the Neo, which is the sunglasses on the, the eyes there. So we could see higher than a 40 speed, which would be bad for Kotaro, but we would be fine for Sirius. So let's, let's just open these up and see what happens. Both parents are the same, so I'm not going to go have to do that again, but uh, let's morph this guy, run through my Trezor. Uh, verification here guys highly recommend Trezor um, to keep your axes safe there isn't a link in the description below that does support this channel guys it's a, an affiliate link so I'm gonna morph that one it will take a second uh, to morph so we're going to also go back to my inventory and morph the other child as well the other egg morph to adult here as well this is one of the only uh, transactions that you're gonna see that you're not gonna see in your wallet guys if you go to your um, your wallet here and go to activities it's not gonna show up like this is not from today we're uh, in today is February 21st the last transaction was the, the 20th so um, that's the only thing that's a little bit different about hatching eggs is there's no uh, contract interaction necessarily in your Ronin wallet where there is with with breeding you're gonna see that in your wallet um, on the front ends when you breed to get two together so to create the egg let's see if any of these have launched yes we did get everything we wanted and that is fantastic we have Neo and the eyes guys this is a 40 speed uh, 50 half 5 health, it'd be better if we had 57, now that would happen if we got um, in the, the eyes or the ears, if we got a plant part, we'd have 57 health, would be which would be the, the highest thing that you can get, but we did get all the cards, 
that we wanted. This is the this is the replicant of the so-called god reptile or reflectile that you have seen in other YouTubers' videos, uh, per uh, particularly uh, Gugus, um, I think even Elijah, and maybe even um, uh, sorry, I'm blinking on the name. Um, one of the other major YouTubers in Axie um, have have mentioned this. At least three of the of the uh, the influencers on YouTube in Axie Infinity have talked about this specific reptile. So I'm so stoked that we got this first try, guys. Let's go back to my inventory and see if we refresh this. If the other one pops up as well, and <laughs> we got this one as well. Now let's see if the oh, it's completely reptile. It is a 41 speed, which makes it a little bit less valuable than the the 40 speed. But we did get 57 health, so it's a higher health axie. So this will put it probably right in the middle. Now it won't pop up in the searches that come if you if you're gonna search 41 40 speed or even 39 speed obviously you're not gonna get this one in your searches guys but the 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 going price for this is pretty impressive so let me go over to the marketplace I'm so stoked that we got two of them um, exactly as we wanted because when I did some of the the breeding uh, calculators guys some of those uh, some of those breeding calculators out here actually put a lot of uh, of chance on getting that fish snack or rice even, and uh, and I was pretty worried about, and, and Buzz Buzz, Buzz Buzz would have actually been the worst one of them all because I didn't want, uh, it just doesn't make any sense for this specific, um, you know, build. But let me refresh this. These are zero breeds, obviously. I just created them, so let's go to zero breeds in the calculator here. And uh, that should bump up the price. Yep, it does. 197 is the lowest on the 40 speed. Let's go up to the 41 speed and see if that actually makes a difference. So I'm going to go to stats and speed and move this up to 41. Actually does lower quite a bit, guys. That takes off about $50 off of the price, which is a bummer because that's... Um, let me actually look at the genes on these. So... One thing I haven't checked yet is how pure they are. 94% pure. This will actually sell for better than expected. So Buzz Buzz moved up to R1. Fish Snack and Nutcracker makes this a little bit less uh, desirable. But this is my 40 speed rather than the 55. And with and this is being the 57. This is more uh, pure as far as the the uh, the purity level here. 94% pure makes this a much uh, greater asset in the breeding process guys so if you were to breed this one with uh, one that had plants in the uh, in the eyes and the ears and less valuable uh, um, R1s and R2s you might be able to sell this for higher so let's go back into the marketplace here and see if we can do a 90 uh, 90 percent purity oops speed let me fix that 41 speed however go up to the purity here move this up to 90 or just type it in which is always better this guy's got a 92 it doesn't ha look at that let me see what the what was the exact 94 percent let's see what 94 percent does for us brings us up to 150 dollars uh, this one still got some nastiness in the R2 region which this one doesn't have as much so we do have Peacemaker in the R2 on the ears and we have Sirius and Hair in the R2 um, on the uh, mouth and tail but this this will sell for better because it's got better overall genes so um, this one has a nasty R1 this one has a undesirable R1 this has an undesirable R1. This one also does. So here we go. Let's let's keep going. Oranda. Um, this is about where we're starting to see. Let's see. I should go by price here. This is probably close, but we've got a lot of R2s that are sort of nasty. Um, this is pretty close. We have Curly, which is a bird part in the R1. An ant which is definitely not what we'd want to see on this Axial. It ain't would be, wouldn't be terrible, but it wouldn't be nearly as good as Tiny Dino. This one has 
some, I mean, we're, we're already into the price range where I wanted to sell this for. So $200, I could easily sell this one, I think, between 0 0.07 and 0 0.075 Ethereum. And Ethereum is actually lower in price than when I originally purchased this guy. So this is still a good break even at $200. I, I paid, um, you know, really if I, if I look back, I want to just refresh you on what I paid for this guy. So um, let me move this out of the way. But uh, this is my breeding calculator here. So I, I, I spent 215 on one parent, 207 on the other parent, was in, intending to sell these for about uh, $200 each. 210 was my ideal. But at the, at the time, Ethereum was a little bit higher, guys. So I, I wouldn't mind selling these for about 200 bucks a piece. So let's look into, so I actually did sell one of the parents for over $180. So I should re... Uh, um, you know, re, uh, I think I sold it for 198 and so I don't have the calculation perfect here, so let me redo this calculation. Actually, let's real quick look at the, uh, the price for this guy. So this is the, this is the price. We're looking at about $200 we could sell this for, um, pr I think pretty easily, guys, because that's, that's where, uh, the, the price has stayed for at least over the last week. This one has Buzz Buzz and Fish Snack in it, so it's a little bit less desirable as a breeder. Um, where this one has full Scaly, full India Star, um, two out of the three Tiny Dino, and two out of the three are, are Kataro versus Sirius, which is fantastic. I might actually, might actually end up breeding this one again, personally, before I sell it. So let me, I'll look into that. But this one is a great, um, this one's not a great breeder, necessarily it's better in regards to selling so I'm probably gonna sell this zero breed and I'm gonna take him and let's go look in the 55 health 40 speed realm here 39 being the most desirable for this axie so it's not the top but it's definitely not the worst and I think our health is going to need to go down to 54 is that correct? Must not be. Now he's a 55 health with a 40 speed. So let me see here. Oh, it was the genetic purity that was going to need to change. So let's lower this down. Just get it out of the way. Wow. Okay, so uh, these are selling for a lot more, actually, than I expected. So this one is uh, <laughs> $266 is... is almost the floor guys look at that that is insane so um, this one's a pretty good one doesn't have uh, the breeding potential necessarily that the uh, the one I'm going to sell will um, and that I might actually try to sell it for a little bit higher because the breeding potential is so good but the Lotus in the R1 is what makes this one so good and so expensive so um, this one having the rosebud might be good, uh, although you don't really want Rosebud in this specific Axie, so um, in the genes that you want it to breed with, my Axie is actually in better shape than this one. So um, because it is so pure, guys, um, I don't know, Buzz Buzz and Fishnack make it a little bit of a wild card, but I do think I could get at least $250, like a 0 0.09 Ethereum out of this between uh, 0.085, oh, this is a fantastic one. It, it's going to be hard to compete with this guy because he has the 40 speed and 57 health. But as far as genes go, I'm pretty on point here with, uh, I mean, this one has Thorny and Tiny Turtle and Imp and just all kinds of uh, differences in its, its uh, R2 genes in particular. Scarab and Shiitake are not good. Um, ants, not so good. So I do think I'll be able to sell this for a pretty decent price. Haven't seen prices of this one in particular being so high. So I do think a lot of breeders are looking at the the sales of these. I mean, look at these guys. This one's a really good one, but it's going to cost you almost uh, $330. Um, this one's pretty good. But it's on point with some of mine. So iguana is actually something you would probably wouldn't want in this meta. Um, 
Yeah, this is probably the one that is the best for breeding out of all that I've seen here. That's a that's a pretty awesome one. If I was gonna be just straight up breeding this, I would take this one and and uh, breed it with something else um, with uh, plant parts. So that's a 57 with a 40 speed. Yeah, guys, I got really super lucky with this breed, and I'm super stoked to move forward with it. I do think I'm going to. Uh, probably breed this one with another of my axes down here and I, I bought two more these have Sirius in the mouth um, I think just one of them this one has Sirius in the mouth but it's a 39 speed and has some great uh, um, parts that I think could slow this down now I don't want Gila in particular so I'm hoping that it gets tiny dino um, but having full or double tiny dino with a hair and double tiny dino with a gila on this. I think it's a pretty good chance I'll get a uh, tiny dino on this one. Uh, triple India Star, triple Scaly Spoon is a pretty good chance. And then Sirius and Kataro. We do have Sirius in the in the R2 here. So it could end up with a Sirius. But it's more likely to have uh, Kotaro. And then um, hopefully it gets some uh, arts. You know, there's a lot of, lot of good um, plant parts on this one that could slow this down to a 39... 57 on this on the on the children between these two so I, I might breed these two together um, This one I bought as a possibility for a breed as well, but I, I don't know if I will just looking at it now um, I Might just give this to one of my scholars now these were these cost me less than a hundred bucks each and that's why I was hoping to get one of them that would breed really well with one of these so these didn't cost me much if I go to my breeding calculator here because I bought SLP at under one cent, guys, I bought SLP at one under one cent, it only cost me $45 to breed uh, um, both of these, actually, these, these, these new axes, as far as SLP burned, and then one AXS total. So besides buying the parents, um, which I already sold one, so I, I actually made a profit, or not quite a profit, but close to my break even on the, uh, the parent there, well, if I sell these two, I'll, I'll actually be in profit at that point because of the the uh, the high selling point at which they are selling at, and also the lowest. Uh, I really bought them at a really really low rate, at uh, forty five dollars plus one AXS. I think one AXS right now is fifty five dollars, um, roughly. Let me check my charts here. Um, AXS is uh, selling at fifty one dollars right now, which is actually down pretty far. However, I am staking um, about 100 AXS right now, which means I get a uh, brand new free to me, <laughs> just just staking time, right? Free to me AXS every week because of how much AXS I have staked. And so this is essentially a $45 Axie that I purchased myself. In fact, if I thought about it in, in relation to my scholars, I probably make close to 4,500 SLP in one week from my scholars, at least pre-season 20, right? Because I'm getting a lot less now that, that my scholars are not able to gain SLP in adventure. But um, right now, really looking at a really cheap breeding cost for these axes, and these axes are selling for over $200 a piece right now. So I'm really stoked, or at least 190, that's that's what I'm going for as, as far as floor for these guys. And uh, with that guys, thank you so much for watching. Wanted to follow up with this video. And uh, just want to show you how much profit is available. Um, really, I think the the total cost, and this is based on my costs, um, $531 is what I spent. I think I could probably sell these for, let's see, uh, let's say $190 for one, uh, plus, let's go to, uh, let's say $220 for the, the, the faster one, $190, not $119. 220. I already sold one parent for 198. If I sold the other parent for 180, let's say I'm gonna make 788 dollars back. So 788 minus my initial cost of 531. Um, let's just round it up. So 532. We're gonna make 256 dollars in five days. If, if everything was to sell today. Now that's that's just, that's the big if factor, right? You, ha do, you do have to sell these at the right time. You can't wait to sell them later. Although uh, if the market does start to move up, which is possible, 
with uh, with season 20 right now plus the horizon of uh, Axie Origins on the horizon we could see that uh, significantly change the price to the upside for uh, for Axies in general however right now I could probably make a profit of $250 in a matter of five days with the the breeding that I've done so um, and that's if, if I sold everything right now um, and uh, there's a pretty good chance because I, I do think I could price these aggressively. I think these numbers are fairly aggressive um, and and priced well to to move. So and I have seen a lot of these axes moving. I've been checking the marketplace almost daily since I bred these, and I keep seeing new stuff every single day. So that means we're cycling through, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you for following up on this specific video with me. If we hit 1,500 uh, subscribers. Before the end of season 20, I'll be adding a new scholarship, so pass, pass the word on there. If we hit 2,000 before the end of season 20, I'll be adding two new scholarships. So let's keep on hitting the subscribe, hit the notification bell, and like this video to help out the YouTube algorithm and to uh, get more eyes on this content, guys. I think Axie Infinity is ready for a boom with Origins on the horizon and land later this year. If you agree with me, hit that like button right now. So thank you guys for, so much for watching and God bless.